he would step up now. Chaplin, thank you. Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, our minds are staggered and our spirits exultant with the magnitude and precision of this entire Apollo 11 mission. We have spent the past week in communal anxiety and hope as our astronauts sped through the glories and dangers of the heavens. As we try to understand and analyze the scope of this achievement for human life, our reason is overwhelmed with abounding gratitude and joy, even as we realize the increasing challenges of the future. This magnificent event illustrates anew what man can accomplish when purpose is firm and intent corporate. A man on the moon was promised in this decade, and though some were unconvinced, the reality is with us this morning in the persons of astronauts Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins. We applaud their splendid exploits, and we pour out our thanksgiving for their safe return to us, to their families, to all mankind. From our inmost beings, we sing humble yet exuberant praise. May the great effort and commitment seen in this project, Apollo, inspire our lives to move similarly in other areas of need. May we, the people, by our enthusiasm and devotion and insight, move to new landings in brotherhood, human concern, and mutual respect. May our country, afire with inventive leadership and backed by a committed followership, blaze new trails into all areas of human care. See our enthusiasm and bless our joy with dedicated purpose toward the many needs at hand. Link us in friendship with people throughout the world as we strive together to better the human condition. Grant us peace beginning in our own hearts and a mind attuned with goodwill towards our neighbor. All this we pray as our thanksgiving rings out to thee in the name of our Lord. Amen. Amen. trip around the world. The Hornet is sailing to Honolulu. It arrives there tomorrow. And from there, the astronauts in their sealed container will be flown to Houston, where a somewhat roomier quarantine building awaits them. So far, there is no evidence whatever of any infection or of any unwholesome effects from the moon. If it turns out, as everyone expects, that there won't be any, then Apollo 11 will have been a rarity in human affairs, a total success and a credit to the American people and to the human race.